Function TV. I'm Dr. Joe, President and Lead Chiropractor here at Full Function Rehab and Wellness in Vaughan, Ontario. I'm here today with Luca, aka the Water Boy. What's going on, guys? And uh, we're just going to be doing an interview and getting to know Luca a little bit more. So, uh, so Luca, tell me about the Water Boy. How did it come across as, as that name? How did you develop that? Yeah, well, first and foremost, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure being here talking with you. So, uh, yeah, the whole origin behind the Water Boy Report. It started with my fascination with sports and me always wanted to be in the game and, and play as an athlete. But after I, I realized that I, you know, I wasn't gonna grow past five foot five and okay. be the, the big traditional type of athlete that you see on TV, I thought, okay, well, I love sports. I can't play the game. Is there a way I can talk the game? So I kind of compare myself to one figure in sports that's not in the game, but it's kind of on the sidelines seeing what's going on. So I'm a big football fan and I automatically connect it to the water boy. Yeah. So I'm like right there and then, I'm gonna be the water boy of sports. So from my passion of sports reporting and my passion of the overall game, the water boy report came alive, I would say around December of 2013, started off as a, a blog. And then I would say in the summer of 2016 is when I made the full transition into doing more video content that you can see right now on my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah, and you're definitely active with that. I so, try to be. <laughs> yeah, so your, your YouTube channel, your Instagram, it's all about sports. And so what do you do? Like as the water boy, how do you educate people? What do you keep them in the know about? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good question, Dr. Joe. So today, obviously people, their attention span isn't what it used to be. So you have to be captivating. You gotta be entertaining with your mm -hmm. content. So I try to be educational in terms of enlightening people of what's going on in the world of sports, but also entertaining where I'm not boring them to death. I mean, we've seen so many of the same traditional broadcast and, and live cast. So I try to have a different spin off my content. So my podcast, I try to incorporate a different guest every week. You've been on my show, somebody that, you know, who's, who's had a big influence in the sports world, either playing, uh, doing, you know, work on athletes like yourself, somebody that can bring a different mindset to sports. I like to have them on my weekly podcast. I also have my, my streeters that I do in downtown Toronto. Yeah. And I guess the unique spin on that is I, I see if fans are actually fans or bandwagon fans. Yeah, so I'll test you about your uh, Maple Leafs knowledge, your Raptors knowledge. And if you think, if you pretend to know something, I'll, I'll catch you slipping if I, <laughs> if I end up interviewing you. So yeah, the, the main point is I, I just try to be as, uh, as, as you know, personal, uh, personable and, and entertaining as possible and uh, really connect with the new generation of uh, people who are constantly on their, their smartphones, their, their laptops and, uh, and all ages for that matter. Yeah, that's good. You're educating them and putting a, a funny spin on it at the same time. Everybody needs a little bit of that in their life. Yeah. Especially when it comes to sports, definitely it's engaging. Yeah. For sure. So you mentioned uh, that you do enjoy watching NFL. Yeah. Um, what are there some sports that you personally like that when you're, when you're discussing it, that uh, it's a passion for you? Yeah, so I would say uh, my favorite sports, I would probably rank it uh, NBA number one and NFL number two. But in terms of just sports as a whole, like all across the board, I can have a conversation with you about soccer, NHL, MLB. But if there's two major sports that I prim primarily base my content around, it's got to be NBA and NFL. And the NBA stems with me being a young boy, growing up in the Vince Carter days, yeah. being a diehard Raptors fan, to see what he was able to do for the, the city. And not only that, but bringing basketball north of the border, making it popular. I instantly just fell in love with the game through Vince Carter and through the Raptors. So, uh, yeah. Any sport I'll talk to you about, but if I had to choose uh, one or two, I'd go NBA and NFL all day. Nice, nice. Well, we did a, a video quite a few months ago where you had a shoulder injury. Yeah. And we did some treatment and then you were able to get the hoops. <laughs> yeah. How's that injury? Feel? Yeah, so uh, my shoulder wasn't 100%. And luckily for me, I visited Dr. Joe at Full Function Rehab and Wellness and he did some work on my shoulder. I'm a big basketball player. I love playing the game. And uh, yeah, right after that treatment, man, I was able to hit my three. Nice. I was able to get that Kobe uh, stroke flowing from uh, beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, I like that, that's great, that's great. So um, I'm a huge uh, Toronto Maple Leaf fan and I follow a lot of sports, but uh, hockey's uh, my passion. And I'm getting really excited for this season and John Tavares and Matthews and the whole combination with them. What's, what's your take on uh, the Leafs this year? Yeah, it's, uh, de there's definitely a buzz in the city. Obviously the whole uh, Tavares going to the Leafs and then right after Kawhi going to the Raptors. Yeah. But uh, yeah, with the Leafs, 
everybody's got their sights set on big things. I mean, you hear a lot of people saying, can they make it all the way this year? Personally, my take on that is I give them about a three-year window. I think they will at least pass the first round this yeah. year. We'll see some second round playoff hockey. Um, but ultimately, in terms of competing for the cup, I think this year will be a, a big year for them to uh, really feel each other out and, and get that chemistry down pack. But I think next year and the year after, we could be seeing some really big things here in Toronto for the Leafs. And I mean, yeah. it's been a while, especially we not, deserve it. We yeah, deserve we it. Deserve it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. They put the right pieces in place. Yeah. Now we just have to see how well they do. Exactly. Yeah. So circling back to you as the water boy, what are your what are your plans for you? What are you looking to do as the water boy? So my main po focus right now, I know I, uh, I branch into all social media platforms, so I'm always active on uh, you know Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. My main focus now is the YouTube game, seeing the whole demographic of uh, you know younger users on YouTube and, and people kind of following along with uh, YouTube content, primarily uh, primarily live streaming. Um, that's kind of my focus now. I'm hoping to do more content on my YouTube channel trying to get at least three new pieces of video content a week. Uh, got even probably push for more if I got the time. Um, but then in that, in that uh, spectrum, I also want to do more live streaming. So you see how Twitch is kind of brought in, in that horizon of all these streamers being huge. I kind of want to get into that, uh, that uh, niche where I can live stream my reaction to certain big games that are out there and really just connect with the audience on a live platform. I think that's the beauty of it now. Like back then you weren't able to instantly connect with your audience uh, via live stream or uh, live casting on Instagram, but now you're able to do that. So my goal is to just try to become a household YouTube uh, YouTuber, have you know big videos that kind of get a, a ton of attention and uh, really connect with my fans from all over the world. Nice, nice. It'll be good to see uh, this year uh, with some different injuries, your reaction to some injuries. Yeah. It's a forte of ours is uh, definitely treating sports injuries, but having somebody on camera live reacting to an injury on ice, on field, anywhere, it'd be cool to see. Yeah, no, definitely. That, that usually makes for the most interesting content, yeah. especially reacting to something of that magnitude. Great, so with all your uh, social media platforms, how do people get in touch with you? How can they engage with you to learn a little bit more about you and the sports and get your reactions? Yeah, so I'm always open to talking sports to everybody, but uh, you guys can connect with me uh, Instagram, at The Waterboard Report. Twitter, just Waterboy Report. I got a Facebook page, and of course, the main platform that I was talking about, my YouTube channel. So, anytime you guys want to talk sports, hit me up, and uh, I'll definitely like to do that. And I do want to mention too. Um, recently, I did host my first ever esports tournament, and I got to tell you, that was quite the experience. So, maybe the Waterboy Report is going to start doing some more esports. I, I don't know, but all I know is I had a great time calling some uh, action. It was a FIFA tournament. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, some of these gamers out there, man, like when your parents told you that video games would never result to anything, <laughs> they lied to you. They lied, they're wrong. They're wrong yeah. because it does in this day and age. And uh, yeah, it was actually this past weekend I covered the FIFA tournament and it was a great time. So I might be doing more of that, we'll, we'll nice. see. That's great, that's great. Well, today's September 22nd and uh, tonight's picks, NFL over or under, who do you got? Oh, well, I'm not an over-under guy, but I'll give you my pick against the spread. So tonight's game on this date is uh, Lions or Patriots taking on the Lions in Detroit. I'm pretty sure the spread is 7.5. So uh, I'm going to go with the Lions covering. I think it's going to be a close game, but I can't have the Patriots losing back-to-back -back games. I got Mr. Tom Brady in a four-point win oh. on the road on Sunday Night Football. Nice. Okay, here it is from the water boy. We're going to hold him to that. Don't at me if I'm wrong. <laughs> well, thank you very much for tuning in to Full Function TV. This is Dr. Joe and Luca, and uh, it's a pleasure having you guys watch, and stay tuned for more episodes.